In an interesting development, India's external affairs minister met his Cypriot counterpart, and the two sides signed three agreements, that includes a memorandum of understanding on defense and military cooperation. The Cyprus Air Force does not have any fixed-wing combat aircraft, and is equipped with only attack helicopters and older Russian-origin air defense systems like Buk and Tor missile system, and there is a high possibility that India can pitch its stages light combat aircraft Pratch and light combat helicopter and Akash air defense system. According to a release by Cyprus Foreign Ministry, discussions also took place on Turkey's provocative actions against Cyprus. India was quick to support Cyprus last year, after Turkey was seen violating UNSC resolutions by opening the ghost town of Varusa. The Alpha S swarming loitering munition being developed by Hindustan Aeronautics and New Space Research and Technologies has already completed internal combustion powertrain testing, and a pod to house for Alpha S swarming loitering munition has also been developed and it will start developmental trials in early 2023, and induction is planned from 2024 onwards. It will be deployed from frontline fighter jets attack helicopters and even transport helicopters, and will use advanced artificial intelligence algorithms to seek out and launch coordinated attacks on enemy surface-to-air missile units, and also target multiple aerial threats like drones and helicopters. A new canister launched variant equipped with heat warhead and 60 minutes endurance is also being developed, that can be used as a man portable system or can be mounted on any vehicle, and can conduct intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance missions as well as target acquisition and engagement of enemy forces. The DRDO has been working on an improved variant of the NARG anti-tank guided missile known as NARG Mark II, and media reports indicate that it will make its debut in 2023. The NARG Mark II will have a longer range and improved performance, and will be integrated into main battle tanks in a twin launcher configuration, and each launcher will hold one missile. The NARG Mark II will adopt some of the technologies from the Helena program, like the new jet vane control system, that will improve thrust vector control and high angle of attack maneuvering performance. Two Su-30 fighter jet stages light combat aircraft and AN-32 aircraft of the Indian Air Force practiced circuit approach and overshoot on a newly 4.1 km emergency landing facility, that has been constructed on a national highway in Andhra Pradesh for emergency and strategic purposes. The emergency landing facility is presently not fully ready for facilitating landing, and the trials conducted by the Air Force were towards ascertaining the feasibility of landing. The Indian Army is procuring 52,000 tactical handheld radio sets. 2,600 digital base stations and 1,040 digital repeater stations, that must be lightweight ergonomic and easy to handle. The handheld radio sets will be supported in both analog and digital operations with industrial grade secrecy of AES-256 encryption, and will be capable of providing seamless communication. The Ministry of Defense intends to procure a 106 digital inertial navigation system through fast track procedure under the by Indian category, and the delivery must be completed within 12 months of signing the contract. The digital inertial navigation system is required to provide accurate survey control points for ground bases surveillance sensors, observation post officers, guns and long range vectors. The digital inertial navigation system have inherent capability of being spoof-free, thus mitigating the vulnerability of satellite-based global positioning system.